break news. Welcome to today's headlines. Wade into unnecessary bloodshed. Loss of lives in Imo. Imo light in Germany, Hodge Uzodima. Wade into unnecessary bloodshed. Loss of lives in Himu. Himu light in Germany, Hodge Uzodima. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read to this news. An association of Imo light in Germany, in the Imo na Germany, Ninag has urged Governor Ob Uzodima to wade into the unnecessary bloodshed and consequent loss of lives and properties in and around Imo State in recent times. The non-partisan group appealed to the Imo State government and its agent at the local government to reconcile all wearing factions and institute policies aimed at uniting all sections. The group said, The pressure for the survivor of their families in Imo State is inched on our shoulders over here in Europe and the burden has become unbearable for us. Ninag made his appeal on Friday in a communique signed by Chief Romanos Higwe, Coordinator and Anomihe Samuel Helvis, Secretary, made available to journalists in Oweri, Imo State Capital. The group said, The attention of Indi Imo Najamni Ninag has been drawn to the unnecessary bloodshed and consequent loss of lives and properties in and around Imo State in recent times. Nenag members are so worried that as serene and versatile Imo State, the art of Igbo land has been virtually turned into a land filled with blood, brigandage and banditry, including demonically induced ritual killings unheard of in our nascent nascent history of existence. Nenang hereby call for a total halt to all forms of hostility and disorder from every individual, groups or personalities, so as to create a good atmosphere for drawing peaceful initiatives where all stakeholders shall come together to embrace peace for the benefit of all Imolite, our children, and future generations. We appeal to the Imo State government, both state and local government, to reconcile all wearing factions, institute policies aimed at uniting all sections. We know peaceful initiatives a difficult step, but aren't undertaken. The results are always a celebration of triumphant victory. We are not apportioning blame on any faction, but our objective is to let, let there be peace in every community in Imo State. Nina recalled that in Imo State, there are no incessant incidences of communal clashes have initial, but it presently has cases that must be nipped in the board. They said, if possible, we ask for a committee to be quickly set up to investigate the remote and immediate causes of these ugly insurrections and recommend lasting solutions. The group implored all Imo lights to embrace their advice with the spirit of love, peace, and unity, and join hands together with them to build a better and sustainable state, saying it should be known that only Imo people can build and secure the state to be a better place to live. An association of Imo lights in Germany. 
in the Imo na Jamni Ninag, has urged Governor Ope Uzodima to wade into the unnecessary bloodshed and consequent loss of lives and properties in and around Imo State in recent times. The non-partisan group appealed to the Imo State government and its agent at the local government to reconcile all wearing factions and institute policies aimed at uniting all sections. The group said, The pressure for the survival of their families in Imo State is inched on our shoulders over here in Europe and the body has become unbearable for us. Ninang made this appeal on Friday in a communique signed by Chief Romanos, Hai Igwe, Coordinator and Anomihe Samuel Elvis, Secretary, made available to journalists in Oweri, Imo State Capital. The group said, The attention of Indi Imo Najamni Ninag has been drawn to the unnecessary bloodshed and consequent loss of lives and properties in and around Imo State in recent times. Ninag members are so worried that our serene and versatile Imo State, the heart of Igbo land has been virtually turned into a land filled with blood, brigandage and banditry including demonically induced ritual killings unheard of in our nascent history of existence. Nina Gebai call for a total halt to all forms of hostilities and disorder from every individual, groups or personalities so as to create a good atmosphere for drawing peaceful initiatives where all stakeholders shall come together to embrace peace for the benefit of all Imolites, her children, and future generations. We appeal to the Imo state government, both state and local government, to reconcile all wearing factions, institute policies aimed at uniting all sections. We know peaceful initiatives, a difficult step but ones undertaken. The results are always a celebration of triumphant victory. We are not apportioning blame on any faction, but our objective is to let there be peace in every community in Imo State. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.